Okay, the story of this car just keeps going on and on. It's a 2005 Volkswagen Passat TDI BHW engine, and we initially diagnosed a misfire, and we found a cracked piston causing a lack of compression. And if you want to watch that video, click the card up in this corner right here. And after that, we received uh, a used engine to replace that one with, and the used engine had a broken time belt. And if you want to watch the story of that used engine, click this link right here up in the cards. And what we found out on that used engine is that the valves were damaged. So we worked to deal with the salvage yard that we would transfer the head from the original engine to this engine. We didn't know that that head had been rebuilt. And so it was a great option uh, in this circumstance. So um, we did swap the head, but the customer realized at one point that he had put a uh, balance module upgrade kit on his original engine and that, that's an expensive component with a gear drive balance module rather than the original chain and so he wanted to transfer those components onto his new uh, engine. So here's what we found when we took the balance module off the original engine and inspected it in order to transfer it to the new engine. Okay, my good friend Brian told me that these wear out sometimes, and I remember something from the forums of them wearing out, but uh, I was going to put this on the car. See, what I'm doing here is I'm turning this gear, and you can see this part here is rotating, but the hex that drives the oil pump right there is not turning. If, if, you, if I turn it just a little bit, and that's showing how much wear it is. Obviously, if I turn it more, it, it moves, but if that, that, much wear, <clears throat> that much wear is not good. So let's take this thing apart and we, let's see how worn it is. For just a little bit easier access, get into this bolt, pull this one off. Pay attention to the O-ring on there. There are two bolts on top of the oil pump. This is one that holds the balance module down, so it's already out. It would hold it. If it was in there, you'd have to remove it too. Now this pump won't come up because of the pump drive shaft, and it won't come out because there's a dowel sitting right here. So the only way to get this out is to take this clip out right here and pull the pump drive shaft out and then you can lift the pump up. So I've got my nice snap on snap ring pliers here. Not hard at all when you got the right tool I guess. Here's our hexagonal oil pump drive shaft and you can see a significant amount of wear there. The other side that rests in the oil pump doesn't really, it's a little shiny on the edge but it ain't really worn. Looks like it has a much longer area that it sits inside so it spreads the wear over a much larger area. Whereas this side has a much shorter area and as I tried to show you before there's a lot of movement in there. Just wiggles pretty good. And uh, I guess other people have experienced a strip, strip drop pump drive. And resulting in oil pressure, probably losing a turbo, probably losing their engine quickly. Okay, since this balance module is uh, worn and not acceptable to put on the new engine, we are gonna do a balance module delete because we know the inherent unreliability of the chain driven balance module. At some point I'll put it up in the cards up there when we do the balance module delete. If you learned anything from this video click the like and subscribe button and visit my website at www.kansascitytdi.com and if you want to watch another video regarding a TDI uh, click this link right here. There should be a good one right here listed also and don't forget to subscribe.